isang magandang buhay sa ating lahat. Now, we, let's continue our lesson regarding sa mathematical language and symbols. Now, we have four basic concepts. First, we have sets, functions, relations, and binary operations. First, umpisahan muna natin sa pag-discuss ng introduction regarding to sets. Okay, sabi dyan, a collection of distinct objects forming a group. Or a collection of well-defined objects called elements and member or member. So, pwedeng elements or member depende sa ating kagamitin. Okay, so, yan ay ginagamitan na itong symbol na to. Yan, yung braces natin. Okay, so for example, we have ABC. Pag inais natin yan sa elements, sa uh, brace natin, so element A or element B or element C. So, depende sa ating kagamitin. Okay? Ito, ito symbol na sinasabing element or ibig sabihin the object in a set. Okay, nandun siya dapat o nandun siya. Ito naman yung not element or non-member. Hindi siya membro nung set. Or the object is not belong to the set. So, for example, let B the set of zodiac signs. So, for example, we have Capricorn, Leo, Virgo, Taurus, and Libra. So, they are all zodiac signs. Where Leo is an element of B. While Queen is not an element of B. Kasi nga, wala siya dito. And Queen is not a zodiac sign. So, nakukuha niya. Okay? For example, we have here, example 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9. 1 is an element of S. 9 is an element of S. Kasi nakikita niyo naman dyan, di ba? A is not an element of S. And M is not an element of S. Yan, kasi wala sila dito. They are not belong. Ways to describe a set. First, we have roster and tabular method. The elements in the given set are listed or enumerated, separated by comma, inside the pair, or braces. The set V of a vowel in the English alphabet can be written as V is equal to braces ng A, E, I, O, U. So, ito yung mga members niya. So, A, E, I, O, U. So, alam natin, yun, they are all vowels. The set E of even counting numbers less than 10 can be expressed by E, even numbers. We have 2, 4, 6, and 8. So, they are, hindi pwede natin isama ang 10 because less than 10. Okay. Now, which is our even numbers? While for this roster and tabular method, the set of positive even numbers less than 100 can be denoted by, for example, ayan, 2, 4, 6, comma, tatlong tuntok na yan, 3 point na yan, yan tatlong points na yan, and 98. Hindi pwede uli sa 100 kasi nga less than 100. That is a 98. And 98 is a positive even number. Yan yung tinatawag ng tabular. Pwede itong ganitong gamitin natin. Roster na yan. Or, ang tinatawag natin dyan ay ellipses. Ayan. So, yung tatlong point-point na yan ay ellipses ang tawag natin. Okay, so, pwede nyo nga. So, pag nakalimutan nyo, ellipse. O, oh, ellipses ang tawag natin dyan. O, oh, set of integers. So, for example, pwede dito, di ba? Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Pwede nasa unahan nyan yan. Pwede yan. Set of full numbers. Hmm. 
and so on and so on. Set of negative integers. So, yeah, negative lang yan, ha? Yan. Di ba? So, ito yung nakikita nyo, ha? Ulitin ko, set of integers. Ayan. Set of full numbers. Ayan. And set of negative integers. Ayan. Why... While for the rule descriptive method, we have the common characteristics of the elements, I define this method. Uses set builders notation where X is used to represent any elements or any element of the given set. So, for example, ayan, remember lahat yan, X is uh, such that Itong makita nyo ito, yan. Such that x is an even number. Less than or equal to 10. Ayan. Yan ito. Pag nakikita nyo yan, encounter nyo, that is such that. Or O is equal to x such that x is an odd positive integers or integer less than 10. Or x such that X is a rational number. Diba? O doon. Pwedeng 3, pwedeng 7, diba? Pwedeng 9 doon, diba? Or dito naman, pag rational number, pwedeng 3 over 5. Ayan. While for the interval notation, paano naman yan? So, recall the notation for intervals of real numbers when A and B are real numbers. With A is less than or equal to B. So, we write, for example, so here, nakita mo yan, ha? So, ito yung may hanggan, ha? Yan. Yan. So, A is B. So, kung sabi yan, X is an element of R or rational. Or real numbers pala, I mean. So, that is such, uh, such that A is less than or equal to x or it's less than or equal to p so ito yung mga condition na yan a and b na yan so paano nga bang gawin to sir paano ba yan okay ganito yan okay for example 3 and 9 so ito ibig sabihin member siya di ba kaya lang check natin pwede pa pwede tayo magsimula sa 3.1 pero hindi yung 3 hindi member yun so hindi tayo pwede doon so 3.1 pwede yung 3.5 4.2 5.8 6.9 9 so pwede diba ayan pinapakita dito e paano naman daw ito ayan so ibig sabihin okay tinan nyo mamaya ah pinapakita ko sa inyo Pwede ng 4.2, 4.5, 5.2, 5.9, 6.9, 6.9, 6.9, 6.9, 6.9, 6.9, 6.9, 6.9, 6.9, 6.9, 6.9, 6.9, 6.9, 6.9, 6.9, 6.
Sabi niyan, all sets which either has no elements or has elements which could all be possibly listed down or countable. Yung nabibilang natin. For example, we have here, let R not be natural numbers less than 40. Hindi kasama ang 40, ah, kasi less than 40. Sabi doon. Ayan. So, hanggang 39. Kasama. Paano naman yung inf inf infinite set? In or infinite set? Infinite set. So, our sets whose elements cannot be listed or unlimited. Siyempre, for example, set all real numbers. Eh, ang dami nun, di ba? Kahirap isulat. Unlimited siya. So, marami siya. So, we have also have a the null set of the set with no elements. In symbol of this one, ayan, ito yung symbol na dalawa na yan. Ha? Pag nakita mo to, null set or null set. Null set, I mean. Ayan. So, for example, set of positive integers between 1 to 10 that possibly divisible by 13. Eh, meron ba? Meron ba sa 1 to 10 na divisible by 13? Meron ba? Wala. So, that is a not null set. Next, set of integers between 2 and 3. <laughs> between 3, 2 and 3. Meron ba? Wala. Kasi yung 2.1, 2.2, eh, hindi naman sila integers. Di ba? So, wala. So, member sila ng null set. Or isa sila example na ng not null set. For the equality of sets, so let A and B be sets. If both A and B have the same elements, then A, and A is equal to B. For example, check natin. A has an element of 1, 2, 3, 4. So B has an element 1, 4, 2, and 3. Equals ba sila? Check na natin. May 1, may 1. May 2, may 2, may 3, may 3, may 4, may 4. So, equal sila. ba? Next. O, oh, ito ng dalawa naman. Are they equal? Ano? Ano masasabi nyo? Yes, that... Uh, they are equal. Bakit? Kasi nga, 1 is 1 ay parehas. 2 is 2 is 2. two. Kahit na tatlong best pa siyang binanggit, e eh pag inaayos mo yan, pwede mo nang iminsan mo na lang siyang iayos sa elements mo or members ng elements mo. So, okay lang siya. So, ibig sabihin, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, parehas lang siya. They are all equal. So, pag tatlong, kahit limang best ang binanggit yan, pwede mo isang gawin lang siya. Parang ganun. So, di ba? So, andali lang, di ba? So, I hope na may nakuha kayo regarding sa introduction of sets. So, sana medyo maintindihan nyo and mag magkita-kita tayo muli sa panibagong continuation ng ating lecture. Maraming maraming salamat!